six sriracha's. I'm Mike, that's what I'm it's saying. your turn. It's 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 my turn. Yes. Didn't you know? I have to do a hot tip. If if you want to do one, if you want to. Okay. Um, I have to figure out how to get over to. Sc okay. Here we go. Does this work? Start screen share. Oh, it works. Yep. Okay. And this workbook is at this uh, website here. Everyone always asks how to get to the bottom. It's control end. Here, here's our setup. Uh, we're going to do an array formula. How about that? All right. Woo! So we have date, sales rep, units. You know what? We should probably just name this. Watch this. I'm going to control asterisk and then control shift F3. That's going to ask me, do I want the name from the top and from the left? I definitely don't want the left. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to test that. Oh, sales rep. That's much better. Jordan, that's good, right? No, that's great. And here's the deal. In this cell right here, we need to say, hey, date column, are you greater than or equal to the lower gate date? And date column, are you less than or equal to the upper date? And sales rep column, are you data scopic? Then we need to say, or date column, are you greater than or equal to the lower date? Are you less than or equal to the upper sales rep? Are you Grantham? Or, so get the idea, this is one, two, three, and, and then or, one, two, three, ands, and then or, one, two, three, ands. And we have to do that in a single cell. Now, here's the amazing thing. Sum ifs. Can you guys tell me, does it do and criteria or or criteria? And. Yeah. So if I want to add up all these, do you, oh, there we go. I, if I want to add all these up. Oh, look at that. That's units. I love it. That's Jordan's idea of understanding formulas better. Here's the criteria range. I love it. So we got date and the criteria. This is going to be in double quotes, greater than or equal to in double quotes, and join it to the lower. Then we're going to do date. I'm just going to type this out. Whoops date and our second criteria this is and criteria we have to say less than or equal to in double quotes and join it so so far this is all and right yep both of these things have to be true mm -hmm. we have a third criteria range control shift down arrow control backspace and here's where the or criteria in that argument right there criteria three if we put all three now we've done a function argument array operation. That argument's expecting a single value. We give it one, two, three. That means this sum ifs is going to spit out three answers. Now I'm going to highlight this and hit F9. There's your three answers. Ooh. And it did all of that and and or. And it looks like data scopic. Oz, you got 106? Man. <laughs> now these cell references, I need to copy this over, so I'm going to lock it with the F4 key, lock the column, this one too, and this whole range right here, watch this, I'm going to highlight that little colon and hit F4 once and twice. As I copy down, I need to be locked on that OR, but when I move it over to the next column, it needs to go to team two. Now, that gives us three values. It's an array of values. If we put it in sum, that number argument is going to require control shift enter because that number argument can't handle array. So why don't we just put it in Jordan's favorite array function, sum product. So Jordan, you like it because it handles array operations without control shift enter, right? Um, no, sometimes it requires control shift enter, right? If you put question? the if function in it with an uh, array operation, but notice, um, if, yeah, there's only some circumstances when it requires control shift enter. Here it's not going to. Ooh. It'll handle that function argument array operation. Cool. So control enter, double click, go, let's see, drag it down and drag it over. Go to the last cell and boom. That's doing, in essence, one, two, three, nine criteria all to get. And, and, and a bunch of ors. Wow. Cool. And it looks like you guys kick uh, Mr. Excel's and 
XL is fun and Mike Alexander in this this team race, right? I wonder if we add him up if we'll win. No, you guys still got it. <laughs> Heck yeah! Woo! That's cool. All right. That neat. Uh, how you know, do I throw it back to you? You'll just click that sl screen share button again. Now I have a question for you. This is just going to show show my ignorance. So should I put the roots? should I put the screen back up? Uh, no, just it's just a general general question. So I've heard of Control Shift Enter and I've heard of Enter. So what's Control Enter? What's that middle one do? So anytime your goal is to put something in a cell and keep the cell selected. So like you want to enter it because you want to copy the cell. Most people hit enter mm -hmm. and then they have to click back up and copy it. So control enter just puts the thing in the cell and keeps the cell selected. Ooh, learn something new every day. So yeah. you have enter, you have tab, you have shift tab, you have control enter, and you have shift enter. Wow. Complete silence, huh? Five sriracha's. <laughs> oh, wow, that's awesome. Syllable of everything you said. That's awesome stuff. All right, so I'm going to switch back over. Do I switch back over to, oh, I just. Uh, you're good. It's, it's automatic. All right. So, Oz. What yeah. do we give this? Huh, I'm I'm saying five. That's that's a really good one. See, I no, agree no, with five because it wasn't as good as your guys's. No, hey. no, there was layers no, to that. Don't they, uh, and plus, and plus, he, he he fixed it so that we won. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beat my Alexander yeah. all of those. That's like seven. That's like two extra sriracha, sriracha <laughs> bottles. No, there are there are sriracha, so many srirachas on that. I can't even I can't even say. I was I'm inspired. That was a multi layered complex. Well, that one gets some Trinidad scorpion peppers. Right. <laughs> you know, Jordan, that's one of my favorite tricks because you know some ifs do an and and or. I mean, maybe that's the coolest thing about Excel. <laughs> 